If you've ever felt anxious, angry, or generally any big emotion, you've probably been told to just breathe. This might feel dismissive, patronizing, and generally unhelpful, but deep breathing can really help you. Breathing is something that we all do without realizing. It's automatic. We breathe in and out about 22,000 times a day. But how can controlled deep breathing help us? When we are faced with challenges and problems, your sympathetic nervous system gets triggered. The primary function of the sympathetic nervous system is to activate the fight, flight, freeze response and help you survive in threatening situations. We have a video on the fight, flight, freeze response if you'd like to watch it. But generally, when a stressful or anxiety provoking situation arises, the amygdala sends a distress signal to the hypothalamus. Impulses are then transmitted through the sympathetic nervous system to the adrenal glands which then pump adrenaline into the bloodstream. This will then bring about the physiological changes needed to be prepared to either fight, flight or freeze. So in other words, to help you survive. Most modern day stressors such as starting a new school, taking a test, walking in a crowd and so on, they might appear small but they may be interpreted as potential life threats and they can trigger the fight, flight, freeze response. This is where deep breathing comes in. Taking deep breaths at a slow and steady pace increases the supply of oxygen to our brains. This encourages our parasympathetic nervous system, or the rest and digest response, to take over. This brings a sense of calmness and safety. Your heart beats slower, your muscles relax, your blood pressure decreases and your levels of nitric oxide are increased and that's needed for overall health. Breathing techniques can also help you feel connected to your body. It brings your awareness away from the worries in your head and it quiets your mind. You don't have to wait for big emotions to come in order to deep breathe. Daily deep breathing exercise can help us maintain this rest and digest state. Practicing them when calm will also help you know what to do if you trigger the fight, flight, freeze response. There are many different types of breathing techniques. You just have to find the right ones for you, but just make sure they are slow, deep breaths. A good place to start would be four seconds in and four seconds out.